Hi there, this is Jenna with Time to Pet, and in this video we'll be reviewing the web staff dashboard as well as how to complete an event on the Time to Pet mobile staff app. Your company admin team will send you an email to activate your staff account, which will allow you to create a new password that you can use along with your email address to log into your web dashboard as well as the Time to Pet mobile app. The Time to Pet mobile app can be downloaded from your phone's app store. Please keep in mind that some of the options you see here in your web dashboard may not be visible based on your company's current configuration and settings. On a daily basis, your company may require you to complete events via the Time to Pet mobile app, but you do also have access to this web staff dashboard. Let's get started on the sidebar under Clients. Here you can see your client list, which has all clients that you have been scheduled events with, or are marked as a preferred staff member for. We can click into a client's profile to view additional information. At the top, you see the client's name, as well as badges to indicate if they have activated their account, downloaded the mobile app, or signed a portal agreement. If your company has added client flags, you will see those here as well. These can also be viewed in the Time to Pet mobile app when completing a visit. Below, you can see the client conversation feed, which has all messages sent to and from the client. You can click add a message to send a message to the client, which you can send immediately by clicking send now or click to schedule for a later time. In the details tab, you can see additional client details as well as edit some of these details if your company has configured the correct permissions for you to do so. In the Pets tab, you can also see details about the client's pets and edit this information if your company has configured the permissions for you to do so. If your company has enabled the vaccinations tool, you can see any vaccinations that have been added to the client's profile here as well. In the Docs tab, you can see any documents that have been uploaded to this client's profile. And on the right-hand side of the client profile, you can see the documents and click to download them as well. You can also see additional information here, such as the client's address on a map. At the very top of the client profile is the quick actions menu, which you can select to print the client contact and pet information if needed, as well as view any client portal agreements that have been signed. Next up is the My Schedule page, where you can view all of your current scheduled events. If your company has enabled hourly time tracking and mileage tracking, you will also see the option to clock in for a shift here, as well as the option to add your mileage for the day. You can also do this from the Time to Pet mobile app as well. You can filter your schedule by client, as well as choose between different calendar views to see the calendar in a different format. On the right hand side of the screen is the add time off button. This button will say add availability if your company has set availability rather than time off. Clicking add time off allows you to add a time off request that will be sent to your company admin team. You can indicate how often the time off will occur, when it will occur, and if there is an end date, and you can provide a note or reason that will be sent to your company admin team. Your company may require you to complete events on the Time to Pet mobile app, but you can also mark events as complete here on your My Schedule page. You can click the event and click the Mark as Complete button. Doing this also allows you to send an optional message to the client and you can add attachments such as photos. Next up is the documents page where you can view and download any documents that your company has uploaded, such as an employee handbook.
The messages section houses all messages sent from your company admin team. If you'd like to send a message to your company admin, you can do so here. You will also have a My Messages section inside of the mobile app on your sidebar. Keep in mind that the My Messages section is for sending messages to your company admin team only. And to send a message to a client, you can go to their client profile to access the chat option or their conversation feed. In the My Pay section, you can see estimates for all upcoming pay for your scheduled events. You can also see any pay stubs that your company may have generated and download them from here. You can view any tips from clients that have been dispersed to you. You can view the rates for all services you will be completing. And if your company has enabled time and mileage tracking, you can see all of your time shifts and mileage entries here as well. The Edit My Info page allows you to edit your staff profile, such as your contact information, as well as a public bio that can be seen by clients if your company has the correct settings configured. You can also upload a profile picture here and configure when you would like to receive the daily scheduled email with all of your scheduled events. The options are every day, on days with scheduled events, or never. You can change your password here if needed. You can view and update all notifications that you will be receiving on your Time to Pet web dashboard, through email, and through the mobile Time to Pet app. The last tab is Client Subscriptions, which allows you to enable or disable notifications for particular clients that you have been assigned to in the past, will be assigned to in the future, or are marked as a preferred staff member for. Time to Pet mobile app notifications can be viewed on your mobile device. iOS notifications are viewed and managed using your phone's notification center. When you receive a notification from the Time to Pet mobile app, you will be able to see it on your lock screen, as well as at the top of your phone screen. Tapping the notification will take you into the notifications action, such as a client message or updated pet profile. You can also swipe left or right on the notification to bring up an option to clear the notification. Notifications on Android devices are viewed and managed from the notification panel on your phone. To view full notification, pull down from the top center of your screen. Tapping the notification will take you to the notifications action, such as a client message or updated pet profile. You can also swipe left or right to dismiss the notification. Inside of the Time to Pet mobile app is the Notifications Center. When logged into the Time to Pet staff app, you can view the notification center by clicking the bell icon in the top right corner of the schedule screen. Please note that if you have any unread notifications, you will also see a red indicator showing above the bell icon. You can view all message notifications in the messages tab of the notifications center. And you can view all other types of notifications in the notifications tab. Please keep in mind that if you'd like to update all of your company notifications, you can do so in your web dashboard. This includes your dashboard notifications, email notifications, and mobile app notifications. In the settings of the Time to Pet mobile app, you can also enable or disable the end of visit five minute warning. This feature notifies the app user when there are five minutes left in their scheduled event. If enabled, Time to Pet will send a push notification directly to the user's app. Finally, let's review completing an event via the mobile Time to Pet app. If you have been scheduled for an event, you will see this on your app's schedule screen.
click the Start Timer button to begin the event. If your company has not enabled time tracking for events, this button will say Complete instead. Clicking the Start Timer button will start tracking down the time and will locate you via GPS if your company also has GPS tracking enabled. You can click the Draft Message button to begin drafting a visit report for the event while the time is still counting down. If you click the Draft Message option, you will see this screen where you can begin writing a message, attach photos from your gallery, or take a picture directly from the app, as well as fill out a visit report card if your company has these set up. You can click Save Draft to continue your visit. When you're done, click the Stop Timer button, and then you will see this screen to complete your visit report and send this off to the client. Clicking Complete will mark this visit as complete. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at timedepet.com.